Gotcha. Hey, director. Mm-hmm. How you feeling about your show? Let's get a record on this. My show is by myself. What you mean? Interview on director. <laughs> First and foremost, thank you guys so much for your unwavering support. I've read the comments. I see your feedback. I know that you guys want longer episodes. You want more frequent episodes. And I'm going to give you guys all of that and more in season two. But in the meantime, since you've been so patient, after tonight's episode, once it hits 10,000 views, I'll release episode three. So make sure you watch, share. If you're not already, subscribed to our channel and, and tell a friend. Enjoy tonight's episode. Good morning, sunshine. Hey, daddy. Are you still on the bed? I am. What are your plans today? I have to work. Are you working late? Yeah, I'm scheduled for the later shift. Did your wife tell you what happened? Your mother told me what happened over brunch. That's why I called. She's always using you to clean up her mess. Hmm, that isn't the case this time. We'll please talk about it later. I'm really not in the mood. You do know that I love you, right? Of course, I know that. I love you too. Okay, sweetie. Take care. You have a good day. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Jazz, I'm cooking breakfast. I'm not a morning person. Tammy, on the other hand, I'm so not used to having a roommate. I lived with Maya the whole four years of our relationship, but that was different. I didn't mind being up under her. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tammy's my ride or die. She's been my ride or die since high school, but sometimes I just want to be left alone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just waiting for the itinerary. Yeah, I got the email from Tom. Yeah, but we're already over budget at this point. Thank you. Okay, please keep me updated. We have to get this rolling. Thank you. Girl. Where? You already know. And clearly people do not understand the word budget. This should never end. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Williams. No, I'm not with Jess at the moment. Of course I learned though you called. Have a good day. Starting to regret giving your mother my number. Well, hello, April. Did we sleep with you last night? No, but I saw you in my dreams. You do know that that key is for emergencies, right? I know, but I looked in my fridge, so I didn't have any bacon, so here I am, emergency. That's your friend. Yeah, Remember she that. Daddy, <laughs> Don't only imagine what she does for that one. Oh, so that's what y'all want to do today. Yeah, and while we're at it, give me back my damn key. Will you two please stop? Fine. What's wrong with you? Oh. Oh, so everybody knew except for me. You were blocked from her Facebook. April! I'm just saying. Damn. Why are y'all even still friends with her? Can y'all unfriend her now? Jessica, hold up. Now, I'm not unfriending nobody because I need to know what's going on, okay? You know where my loyalty lies. I'll unfriend her right now if you want me to. Why is Peyton texting me talking about she missed me? Your ex, Peyton? Her ex, the ex before the last ex. Damn. Damn. Exes can always tell when you're single. No, she can stay far away from me. No offense, but if I need to get laid, it's whoever's available. Yeah, and uh, how's that working out for you? No complaints yet. She's a mess. Okay. 
First of all, there's way too many fish in the sea, and Jess just needs a fresh start. Which is why we're taking you out tonight. Non-negotiable. Yes, so bring a change of clothes to work. Please, okay? Jess, I cannot do the pajamas anymore. Has she worn the onesie? Girl, the white one? Yeah. Yeah, and I hate it. Okay, just talk about me like I'm not here. Mm -hmm. We will, okay, because I'm going to take my shower. Mm -hmm. And make sure you shave that punani because you might get lucky tonight. You might get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you for real? Yeah. Thank you. Are you going to tell me about Maya's engagement? Yes, Jessica, I was gonna tell you, but I already knew that you'd find out for yourself. She's literally giving her the life we were supposed to have. Let me tell you something. You need to stop obsessing over this girl because she's not worried about you. Yeah, she's probably too busy with her new fiance. Exactly. I can't believe she didn't tell me. I mean, if you really want closure, why don't you just call and her? And say what? Everything you've been telling me. You think I should? No. Do it. Here you go. It's going straight to voicemail. Try again. Still. Okay. Try from my phone because she may have blocked your ass. Why is she broke up with me? I don't know, girl. April? Hey. Congrats on the engagement, bitch. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard. <laughs> Terrible. I just don't understand. Like, why does she even have me blocked, first of all? And why she didn't call me and tell me? Oh. Hello, April. Jessica. Hey, Miss Williams. What's up, Mom? We're on our way to work. Oh, I can drive you. It's actually faster on the train. Let me wait for you at the bodega. Something's off with that girl. I just want to apologize for my actions the other day. It, it wasn't my intention to hurt you. It really wasn't. Wow. That's probably the first time I've ever heard you apologize. Maybe. Look, I don't know how to fix our relationship. I don't even know if it's too late. I want to spend some more time with you. There's a lot we need to work on. Probably. Yeah. Listen, why don't you come by next week? I, I found some old things that you might want. Yeah, it'd be fun. Come on. Okay. I suppose I should let you go, so... Yes, Victoria. Why didn't you tell her? I, I tried to tell her today, but it just it wasn't the right time. <laughs> well, when exactly is the right time, Charles? You can't rush me into a decision that I made. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm not going to take any more of your bullshit. No more. No more. Either you tell her or I will. You understand? You know what? New York City has more gay people than anywhere else in the world. Everywhere you turn, there's either a woman looking or losing herself in love. Hey, what can I get for you? Uh, let me get a shot of tequila. Any preference? Uh, top show. Surprise. Top shoe? Oh, Hasta amigos.
So what's up? Hey, what are you doing here? I gotta come down to your job, like to hear from you. Okay, I got your text. You don't miss me? We've been done. What are you talking about? I've been thinking about you lately. I heard what happened. You ready for your break? I'll be back in 15. Bitch. If you're not drinking, leave my bar. Hoes be tripping. Bars and clubs are exhausting and monotonous. Overpriced drinks and obsessive PDA. It's just... Damn, you are? Yeah, um, I'm just a little clumsy. Not we are. I'm Frankie. Jessica. You worried about shaking hands? No, it's not that. I'd... It's just been a long day. Yeah, I saw you in there working hard. I was at the bar to grab a drink. Okay, I thought you looked familiar. I'm usually so zoned out at work, I barely pay attention to people's face. Yeah, I get it. You done for the night? No, I'm on break. Um, are you going back inside? Nah, it's not really my thing. Let's take a walk. Use your mom. Fuck it. Hey, girl. Oh, did you know I needed this? Turn me up. Where's Jess? I had to send her on her break to get away from Peyton. Peyton's here? Let me Uh huh. She came up in here. With the dramatics, huh? Yes. Oh. A bitch? Yes. Girl, I cannot wait for this girl's night. Oh my gosh, it is so needed. So what are you doing tonight? Well, unfortunately, my friends are dragging me out somewhere. Hopefully it's not to a bar or a club. Hope not either. So why were you at the bar? <sighs> Inspiration. Inspiration. Yeah, I'm a writer. The story I'm working on begins at a gay bar. Hmm. That's interesting. Very. <laughs> what about you? What are you passionate about? I haven't really figured it out yet. No. I mean, that's, that's understandable. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Yeah, I have to get back. Let me see. Take my number. Listen, Frankie, you seem like a really nice person, but I'm not really interested in dating anyone right now. Did I mention dating? No. Call me when you need inspiration. How's that? Girl, when I tell you I cannot wait for girls' night, this is why. Hey. Well, hello. Where the hell you been? Our shift is damn near over. I went for a walk. Walking where? Around. Oh, wow. OK. Walking. People were walking. <laughs> Where exactly are we going? Yeah, tonight? April, where are we going tonight? No more questions. It's a house party. A house party. And it's gonna be lit. Okay. It's a party. It's a party. Of course you're going. Hi, Nana.
I'm Frankie. You worried about shaking hands? It was really, I guess, surreal, just in the way that they, they met. Um, Jessica was just like a little frantic, and Frankie just being as calm as ever, uh, just kind of being able to um, bypass Jessica's little, little attitude at the time. Take my number. Listen, Frankie, you seem like a really nice person, but I'm not really interested in dating anyone right now. Did I mention dating? No. Tell me when you need inspiration. You'll notice over time watching Frankie just like super calm. When you agree? I think she's trying to test Frankie, kind of like in a hazing situation. I can set up a meeting with Tom whenever you're ready. It took you and me five years before we could pitch anything to him. Yeah, but times are different. And she actually has the potential to be a great storyteller. Yeah, uh huh. It's a really great, entertaining show. I think it grabs you by the like balls <laughs> the first episode, and you really want to know what's going on. Um, and then it leaves you kind of wanting more because I want more. I want to see what's next. It speaks so much, like as it progresses. Like I think it, you kind of hit the ground running the minute you see the show. There's, it's, it's so well put together, so well told. The cinematography is incredible. The actors are incredible. Um, I think just overall being a part of the LGBTQ plus community myself, I want to see stories like this being told. I think Jessica is so relatable. I think Frankie is extremely relatable. Uh, I think a lot of us are going to get to see ourselves in a lot of, of these characters. So why wouldn't you want to see representation of yourself on the screen? Show so much love to this POC cast.